Welcome to the finale of Obi-Wan, a Star Wars comic miniseries. The storm is over, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi steps out of his hut into the Tatooine night. Meanwhile on the outskirts of Mos Eisley, a platoon of stormtroopers discover that four ration containers were stolen by Tusken raiders during the storm. Their commander orders them to go out into the dangerous desert night to find and recover them. Obi-Wan readies his EAP mount to scavenge the desert in the aftermath of the sandstorm. As he sets out, the stormtroopers venture deeper into the wilderness. They spy the tents of some Tusken raiders in a canyon. They take aim at the massifs guarding the campsite and fire, but the camp is just a decoy. The raiders are positioned above the troopers, and they ambush them. One by one they eliminate the stormtroopers. Obi-Wan approaches the canyon, having heard the sounds of blast of fire. He sees the party of Tusken raiders on the move, and goes to check out what they left behind. He discovers the bodies of the troopers, and starts scrounging for supplies. While rummaging around the armor-clad bodies, Obi-Wan is reminded of the countless clone troopers he had seen die during the Clone Wars. Suddenly, one of the bodies coughs weakly. This stormtrooper is still alive. Obi-Wan removes his helmet to reveal a young conscript, who is badly hurt. Bound by his sense of duty as a Jedi, Obi-Wan lifts the conscript onto his mount to take back to his hut. During the journey, the young man regains consciousness and tries to make a break for it. However, his injuries prevent him from getting too far. Obi-Wan drags the wounded conscript back. Three days later, the man wakes up in Obi-Wan's hut. He is better and spots Obi-Wan's lightsaber on a shelf. Obi-Wan asks him his name, but he only knows himself as JM-909. Obi-Wan dubs him, Jim, and introduces himself as Ben. Suddenly, Jim stands up and grabs Obi-Wan's lightsaber, igniting it. He points it at Obi-Wan, telling him that he is not his friend. Obi-Wan is unfazed, and calmly tells Jim to take the lightsaber to protect himself. Overwhelmed by the Jedi's compassion in the face of hatred, Jim drops the lightsaber and flees. He returns to his base, only to be yelled at by his commander, who passes the blame for the deaths of the other six troopers onto Jim. Back in his bunker, Jim recalls the kindness with which his sworn enemy, the Jedi Obi-Wan Kenobi treated him, before putting on a helmet and becoming a faceless stormtrooper once again. Back in his hut, Obi-Wan feels like his time here is coming to an end as the day starts to break. He steps out to watch Tatooine's binary suns rise. In the final panels of the comic, we see a flash forward, to when Obi-Wan is struck down by Darth Vader, and finally becomes one with the Force. And that's how Obi-Wan ends. We hope you've enjoyed this Star Wars story. Join us again soon for more comic book summaries. Thanks for watching.